this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a wave of success with reality transurfing. This is going to show you a perspective that if you use can start to completely transform your life and allow you to have powerful momentum in the direction of the success you are meant to have. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to have that wave of success with reality transurfing. Now this is something that I've been experiencing, especially the last, I'd say, year or two, is this what reality transurfing calls a wave of success. Now, before I get into it and I explain what you can do step by step how to do it, let me explain a little bit of how it correlates with what we call the reality transurfing process. And first off, let me say that reality transurfing is in a way a manifestation process, but also more so like a philosophy, like a way for seeing the world. And when we start to apply this, it can be very powerful because it kind of shifts and it takes in accountability these, it takes in account the letting go, like the surrender, an understanding of a higher level paradigm of manifestation. Because normally, what is like the traditional law of attraction way to, you know, create what we want? It has to do with like, here we are, there's our goals over here, and we're going to take action to get there. And it comes normally from a place of lack. It's like, I want to be over there because I don't really enjoy being over here. That's kind of the stereotypical understanding. So instead what we can learn to do using reality transurfing is realizing that this reality that we want to experience, this goal that we have, it exists right now. And what we can do is begin to embody those characteristics, we can begin to embody those feelings, and as we do, we make it more likely that we resonate with that because we are bringing those into the present moment with the awareness that there is an infinite number of parallel realities that exist, and all we gotta do is we gotta resonate with that version of us. So, what is reality transurfing? Well, it has to do, it's written by a quantum physicist, his name is Vadim Zeeland, and it has to do with a understanding of parallel realities. What we think of is as time is actually movement through different parallel realities. There's an infinite number of parallel realities that exist. And knowing this can be very powerful because then what determines which, what is called a life track, which direction our life goes, since there's an infinite number of parallel realities that exist, is our choices, is our energy state. And as we switch up our choices and our energy state, we're more likely to then create what we want in the direction of how we're acting. So knowing this, it's what are some of the most common things we can use reality transurfing for? What are some of the common principles? Let me just give a little general basis overview just to kind of wire it in before we get into the main part of the video. So first off, intention. Having and setting more intentions. When we set intentions, we are in a way using the direction of our life and we're starting to create from a much more powerful place. If you simply set more intentions in your life, you will begin to change your life in a very powerful way. So a lot of people, they just don't have a direction that they're going in. They don't set intentions. Now, what is an intention? An intention is like a will to have or a will to um, like almost kind of like an outcome, but it's something that you are uh, focused on and you expect to have, but you're not attached to the expectation. So it's this awareness. So uh, one of the most powerful things that I recommend is something called segment intending. It's actually from also from a book uh, by Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks talks about it a lot as well. Segment intending is like there's so many different segments throughout your day. Like right now I'm doing a segment where it's a chunk of my day where I'm filming videos. Then after this there'll be a segment where I'm editing videos. Then after that there'll be a segment where I go eat. And then there'll be a segment where I go to the gym. Those are all individual segments. And if what I do is I set intentions before going into the segment that I want it to go a certain way, or not just want, but I intend for it to go a certain way. So I intend to be in a flow state while I make this video. I intend to be present to the moment and to feel this energy and to transmit it to you and to add value to you. Then I go to edit. I want to have a smooth edit. I want everything to just go very well, very easy. Then I'm going to go eat. I want to eat healthy food. I want to feel present while I eat it. And I'm going to go to the gym, but on the way to the gym, I'm going to be safe. I'm going to drive safe, easy flow through traffic. You see what I mean? Then I go to the gym, I want to have a good workout. So setting those intentions and as you set those intentions what happens is you start to build momentum you build momentum and as you do that it becomes more and more likely and more and more something that's on autopilot so it's almost like you also influence the subconscious mind in a very powerful way so that's part of it another part is understanding called something called pendulums pendulums are thought structures i know it has kind of a funny name these are thought structures our thoughts have an electromagnetic reality even if we can't see them 
So when we're thinking thoughts, we think, oh, they're just, you know, they're invisible. At a certain level, that parallel reality exists. And the more that we think about it, the more we almost bring that into manifestation. So what we can begin to realize is that collectively we're creating, first off, we're creating our own individual layer through our own perception and our own life. Then we have the mass consensus reality. We have a whole bunch of people also creating their own reality. Their thoughts will link up in this field of what is called the variations. It will link up in almost like a bubble around the earth of these collective belief systems. So because many people believe certain things with politics, those are belief structures. These belief structures want to take energy. They feed on energy. So anytime you're arguing something, you're feeding that inner pendulum energy. There are pendulums around different perspectives, political point of views, there are pendulums around different sports teams, there's pendulums around beliefs, anything you can think of there's pendulums around. And the power of this is knowing that many times we think we are thinking our own thoughts, but in reality, we think of thoughts of pendulums. We're thinking the thoughts of, we're, we're almost like kind of linking up with it and we're like, oh, that really triggers me when I watch the news and that happens. Well, a lot of times it's just like a wave that's flowing through you because you're linking up your thoughts with those collective belief systems of what everyone else felt that thought the same thought. So I know it sounds kind of complicated, but think of it like this. Take your power back, observe your thoughts, and you start to then unplug from the social unconscious and the social conditioning of everybody. You start to create your own reality, and that's where everything really begins to change. So take back your power and observe those thoughts and then choose the way and the perspectives you prefer to have. Now, the last part I'll talk about is what is called decreasing importance. This is like the biggest game changer when it comes to uh, reality transurfing for a lot of people. At least it's changed my life the most. Anytime you put anything on a pedestal, you immediately separate yourself from it and you make it harder for you to achieve whatever that is. Whether that's uh, attracting a person to your life, whether that's a certain goal that you have. If you make it really important, what you're saying in a way is my self-image is not good enough for that to be natural. Therefore, I make it very important and this is the thing balancing factors come into play that neutralize that energy. So if that means you're making a relationship really, really important and you're giving it all this excess energy, what is gonna neutralize that? Normally, it'll be something to where that person just rejects you or just doesn't work out. So you have to start to be aware of your energy, more so create from an observation point of view. Now, if you want a powerful meditation that will show you exactly how to decrease a level of importance and help wire in a lot of these reality transurfing ideas, I've created a free meditation that you can download in the top of the description box below, and it will help you to do that. It will help you to be able to wire it in and then to decrease the level of importance so that you increase the chances of you creating it in your life. Now, let's move on to this wave of success. Now, I'm gonna first off explain what a wave of success is, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and how you can apply it in your own life. A wave of success is when something happens in your life, and you give it positive meaning or you change your state of being so you feel good and grateful for it, what happens is you increase your state of being and then you are more perceptive of other things that resonate with that increased state of being, therefore putting you on a life track or a wave of success of more and more favorable type experiences. So for example, let me explain one of this, the ways that I definitely experienced this. Is back in February, I started going daily on YouTube and I had a video that popped. It was a subconscious mind video, and that video popped, and all of a sudden I was growing from maybe like 3,000 3, subscribers a month. I grew to 25,000 subscribers a month. What that did is that success made me focus on the gratitude. It made me focus on this momentum of growth and potential, and I kept, that made me fueled up and made me more inspired to make more and more videos, and because I gave that positive meaning, I continued to create more and more of that to where videos just kept popping. Every month or two, or every two or three months, I'd have a video that really popped, and then the channel would just go boom, just keep, just keep growing, just keep growing. Because what happened is as it increased how I feel, felt, I was like, oh, this is great, I can soon quit my job and stuff like that, I felt so inspired. It kept giving me more and more reasons to be that way. Now maybe you've experienced this before at a certain level. Maybe you found, and this can work in both ways. It can work in positive and negative. So something negative can happen and then it starts to bring you down. It's like almost like a spiral. Think of it like a spiral. But maybe this happened to you. Maybe you met somebody that you really connected with and everything is going great and you felt so good about like being around that person that then everything just started happening in other ways. Maybe all of a sudden you go to your job and you get a promotion or then you go somewhere else and like it's just like you're in the right place at the right time. You're just very lucky. That happens a lot. I see that with a lot of people and also on the other side. I see people that maybe their girlfriend or boyfriend 
they, uh, they break up, and then shortly after that, they lose their job. And then shortly after that, something else happens. Why is that? Well, in the present moment, we're constantly giving meaning to the things that happen in our life. And if when we give it meaning, we decrease our state of being, what we do is we then put ourselves on either less favorable life tracks or more favorable life tracks because there's an infinite number of parallel realities that exist. So with that being said, how can you powerfully put yourself on a wave of success? This is what you do. This will also make you a more lucky person. What you do is when you go out and when you're in just daily life, anytime something somewhat positive happens, appreciate it. Start to give it positive meaning. Doesn't mean you make it more important than it has to be. It's not like somebody opens a door for you when you're going to the gym or something. You're like, oh my God, that's so amazing. And you're just like ecstatic and just like crazy happy. You could do that if it's genuine, but if it's not genuine, I'd say make it something that's authentic to you. But what you can more so learn to do is to just be acknowledge it. Acknowledge it because whatever you focus on grows. And as you focus on things that are going well, more things will go well in your life. Start to give it positive meaning and things will start to change. Now, here's one of the biggest game changers too. I see people that are like, oh, I did this and then something negative happened so it didn't work. If you hold the frame, I, this, is like, this is like the thing I talk about all the time, hold the frame. Why assume that because you are on a favorable life track, like things are happening well, you're intending for it, something happens, why give that so much meaning, that thing so much meaning and say this means that it's not working? This means that I need to switch course and do something completely different. Maybe you just gotta keep showing yourself, maybe it's a little block that came up, that you have to keep showing yourself that you can push through it, and as you give it positive meaning, you're like, I'm gonna learn something from this, you put yourself on more and more favorable life tracks. I got a, I got a question from someone the other day that was something like that, and I'm thinking just, it's one thing that happened, you know? Like, I created daily videos for like, for like a month before anything really happened. Before that, I was creating videos every single week for a, for like a year. Nothing happened. After the third video, if I was like, nothing happened or something said something negative to me and I'm gonna stop. I wasn't holding the frame. I didn't. I wouldn't have gotten the results. Hold the frame. Don't give it so much meaning. That situation, whatever it is, don't think that that means it's the end of the world. Take it as a learning lesson and continue to move. You know, we put the meaning into things of what, how we relate to them. So instead, Focus on the things and give them somewhat positive meaning, even if it's a learning lesson. And as you increase your own state of being, as you make it lighter, you will start to perceive of more and more reasons to feel successful. <laughs> it's more about the feeling of success than the actual result itself, because with the feeling comes the results that we want. So start to focus more on the feeling of success, the feeling of gratitude, the feeling of growth. Start to acknowledge what you already have in your life. As you do that, you're putting yourself on more and more favorable life tracks and the step-by-step -step way that you do that is you simply pay attention to how things feel and what you then do from that point of view is you start to focus, feel gratitude and start to keep moving forward. Just keep holding your frame. That's what's worked for me. I realize the more positive meaning I give things, even if it's a learning lesson, even if it's a little, little road bump, I keep doing that and I keep creating more and more of that wave of success. Now, the thing is, is when you're on a wave of success, you become in a way like void of what are called those pendulums, those pendulums that are kind of controlling life and they like, they're always trying to trigger us. The key though, is you have to focus on that. Focus on being present to the moment because anytime you start to bring in these other beliefs of like, what does this mean? Or you start to like kind of listen to maybe even friends and family that are talking you out of it, those pendulums. Anytime you change your self image, there's gonna be pendulums fighting over to try to get you back to your old state of being. It's almost like the subconscious mind comes in and tries to make you who you were before. You know, if you start acting different around your friends, and you're maybe you're not really into success and all of a sudden you're like trying to like study personal development and you're trying to be successful and you've never been like that before your friends might be like what the hell's going on i don't know if we like this because this may mean that eventually his friend's not going to come around as much because now they're focused on other things it's not as similar and you may try that they may try to in a way get you to come back to being the old you so therefore those pendulums also come into play because you're fighting over you know that perspective the self-image you haven't completely changed yet so the key to this is to forge your own path, be authentic to who you are, and not try to feed into everyone else's reality. Just be yourself, focus on the things that really make you feel good, focus in that direction, and as you do that, you will start to see your state of being increase. Also, this is another hack that you can use. 
give it such a low barrier to entry for you to be happy or for you to be and feel gratitude, right? Like we give ourselves rules in our head. We're like, oh, when I win the lottery or some like big thing, then I can feel happy. We give ourselves these rules. Therefore, we never really are able to feel happy easily because we have all these rules. You know, what does it take for a joke to be funny? Well, a joke has to have this and this and this and this and at the right punchline. You know, we're getting too intellectual about it. You can laugh at just stupid little things that happen, you know? And as you do that, guess what? Your state of being increases. As your state of being increases, you perceive of things in a different way, more opportunities, and things happen in a much more powerful way. So that's something that I think you can apply. You can catch your own waves of success by being on your own purpose, by being authentic to who you are. Simply move forward, No, trust the process. As you do that, simply intend for things to happen, segment and tend your days, and then as you focus on what you're grateful for, you will experience more and more of those things and things will get better and better. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you can see the daily vids that I do. The way YouTube does things now is you actually have to do that to see the daily vids. And I'll be coming out with more reality transfer vids, more vids that I think you guys are going to completely dig. So with that being said, peace, much love, and namaste.